So I'm trying to do the best I can, and they can't find something to satisfy me. Woo! Good morning, everybody. I promise on everything that I love, I'm not gonna be looking like this all day, but you know, moms out there, this is how it is, okay? Okay, as long as you get your kids to school on time, dressed and fed with their with their mouth smelling fresh and everything, they're good, okay? Don't be coming to school in a drop-off lane and you looking like you ready to go to work and your kids looking like one of them characters for baby kids. Like, mama, you was trying to leave us. Like, no. Good news is, um, I put on deodorant this morning, but I have to go inside of Tarjay. I am going to be doing my hair today because there's only so many weeks left of this beautiful weather where my hair won't revert back just by walking out into this Florida humidity. And I just got well. Let me tell you something. I've been sick for the past three days. I don't know whether or not it was on, on on account of me like eating too much of a particular food. I I went ham on um, Thai curry, which is coconut based, coconut milk, and I ate that for three days straight. Well, you know they say for every positive there's a negative, the yin and the yang. Well, for them three days that I ate the coconut curry, whatever, I literally, my bowels, Girl, my bowels excavated themselves for three days straight. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, Lord, am I dying? I don't know if you guys watched this show on Netflix with Drew Barrymore. It's called The San Clarita Diet. And the first episode of how she became the zombie, I mean, she's a zombie pretty much, is because like, she literally like crapped her whole life away, literally. I felt like her for a second. I was like, Lord, am I turning into a zombie? I haven't eaten anything in like, I don't wanna lie, in like two days. Yesterday, I ate nothing. The day before that, I ate nothing. It's been two days. And today, I have not gone to the restroom. TMI, whatever. We're best friends. It's not like you've never pooped before. So I'm just really happy about that because, girl, Like for real. So what I gotta do now, because I have a photo shoot to go to. Girl, have you ever had this from Starbucks? It is um, some type of drink. The dragon mango berry, I got mom brain. Are you like that, moms? Girl, you, for one split second, you know exactly what you're thinking. And then just like that, you see like, a bird and all of a sudden you're thinking about going on a vacation somewhere and completely leaving your whole life behind and getting a boyfriend with a very exotic name and a deep deep tan and you're on the beach and he rubbing your body down with coconut oil and feeding you my ties with a golden spoon and all of a sudden the next thing you know you hear somebody say mommy and you just shook you don't even know where you at how long you been daydreaming okay your kids talk about they hungry, they thirsty, and you are just stirring a pot of spaghetti, and you like, dog, oh, I really lost track of time. I don't even know what I was thinking. What was I doing? Where was I going? Don't even know, girl. Like now, what was I talking about? Oh, I gotta go into the grocery store. Not grocery store, I gotta go inside of Target, y'all, and get me some hair products to do my hair because I can't show up to the photo shoot like, like this. They'll be like, um, this ain't what we signed up for. But it's such a blessing. Like this year, out of everything that I've shared with y'all, and now that I'm back on the wagon of vlogging, um, I wanted to take me back, take <laughs> my life away from the drama that had my brain so wrapped up and encapsulated that I really couldn't work and dealing with the external depression, okay? and external anxiety and just focus so you know i 
just said, you know what, I wanna kinda go local. I wanna start working with local businesses. You know, this is my city, this is my, my state, I'm from Florida. I said, I wanna start doing things locally, you know. I don't know, just get out there and start hanging out with people, and so I did. So you guys saw me go to the fashion show, and um, I went to a little like food tasting event at this local gas station called Daily's. It's kind of like the Wawa's to us in Florida. It is the Wawa of the South, okay? Although I see that Wawa is trying to pop up everywhere on the corner, whatever, but anyway, whatever. Met some really cool people, and then later I got an email saying that they wanted to, you know, get some photos of me and the kids and feature us um, on their page and stuff. So I think it's really cool. I'm really excited, y'all. I feel like when you put out good energy and good vibes, that's what you get back. And that's what I wanna do, you guys. I was just talking to someone who's going through some personal things in their lives, and it's so weird how it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, how divorce can affect your life, and even the aftermath of the divorce can affect your life, and um, how people just really sometimes just need somebody to talk to number one and then I'll never forget this when I went through um, my divorce back in God knows when <laughs> but the one thing that resonated with me and still resonates with me and the things that I tell people when they're thinking about getting the divorce and stuff please know especially if you have kids involved that is not going to solve the problem you still are connected to that person until the day you die because you have made something together. And it's more than something um, out of vanity. It's, it's a piece of you that you've made, a piece, of, a piece of yourselves that you've made together that God has allowed y'all to have, okay? And a piece of paper that states that, okay, you're not in a relationship anymore, does not say that you're not gonna have to learn how to be great parents, even after. And I know sometimes it's difficult. It takes time. It is not a flick of a light switch, y'all. That's not how it works. It is not a light switch moment. It takes time, and I think you know how people go like through marriage counseling or whatever? I think there should be something like family counseling or like parent counseling, like, you know, co-parent counseling where you can actually go sit down with somebody, you know, because sometimes two and two people bump heads and you need a mediator to come in and figure out what's going on, just like marriage counseling. I really think those things work and then you can really see like what's really going on, what is the root of the problem, and then that way, if need be, a person who can really lay down the law and figure out who is the problem, what is the problem. I don't want to say who is the problem because it's not necessarily people being the problem. Well, it is when they're in, people are in control of their own emotions. But you know what I'm saying? Like, what is the problem? What's the root of these issues? Take two people who love their kids more than their issues. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've just been trying to be an encourager. Um, and I do get messages from you guys. And who since the last video, I've been getting a lot of messages of people who going through it or about to go through it and they're scared. And the one thing that I can tell you is that when you're going through a custody ordeal, be the bigger person. Now, I ain't telling you to be no fool and fall for traps and stuff like that. Make sure you, you know, have all your ducks in a row, especially if you're dealing with a person who is a narcissist or just has this behavior that just wants to undermine the whole um, co-parenting relationship. Make sure you protect yourself by notating things like, oh, I, you know, I had this conversation and we agreed on this because sometimes it's like that, honey, it is. Don't let love I know my mistake, um, and a lot of our mistakes, is that our love makes us trust someone um, more than we should. 
it lets our guard down and we don't realize that a person may have ill intentions behind what they're doing or might be setting some things up. Don't let love blind you to protecting yourself. Protect yourself in a way that you go by the book. You be by the book, okay? And you make sure that you are the best parent to your children and you don't play any dirty games, okay? And I think the one thing that the courts look at is who's the sensible parent. Who is gonna be the parent that can set all of their feelings aside and be like, you know what? Um, at the end of the day, we're both parents, so we, we gotta do this together. So be the sensible parent. Be the one who initiates love on both sides. Um, even if it's like painful, be that person because it's not even about the courts at the end of the day. It is if you have custody of your kids, it's for a reason, right? Number one. And if you were to be on the other end and you're not in your kid's life, you would want to know that this person is going to do the right thing. They're going to be speaking kindly about you. They're going to be raising the kids the way that you would want them to be raised. That um, they're going to let your kids be kids. You know what I mean? Like with as much love as possible. So be that parent, y'all. I'm telling you, don't play dirty. Don't play no dirty games. Don't try and get people to be on your team and all of those things. No, because talking bad about the parent is going to make you look crazy. Okay? Don't be that person. You know, as much as you might want to, you know, have a moment and be like, oh, this person, woo, woo, woo. But if you're constantly talking bad about the parent, it's like, say something nice. What is the nice thing that you have to say? And if you go to court and you don't have nothing nice to say about a person who's never had a criminal record, ain't abusing your kids, isn't um, feeding your kids junk food every night, your kids are well-fed, well-dressed, and they go to school, you know, it's kind of like they're going to start looking at you like, okay, you're just a, an obsessive controlling person. So don't be an obsessive controlling parent who just looks like they just, you know, are upset because they're not having their way. Be the bigger person and put your kids first. You put your kids first, why are we here? You know what I'm saying? Why are we here? You keep putting your kids first. But anyway, girl, I've talked around the circles in this car. We got to go inside and get the stuff for my hair. My gosh. <gasps> Come on. Y'all, for real, for real, I had every intention of coming home and being on time this photo shoot. I'm on time. I'm not late, but I can't talk to you right now because we got to go. But I did take a shower, do my hair, use this new product that I want to show y'all. It's a uh, cream of nature. It's uh, an intensive shampoo oh, Jesus. Hold on. this stuff cream of nature argon oil from morocco intensive conditioning treatment because sometimes my curls be looking real uh, unloved but today i gave them some love only thing i'm missing is my chapstick but like other than that like i'm i'm okay right okay all right I'm here with my whole crew. I made it, okay? She made it. And <laughs> we're about to get some things from the daily menu, you guys. I shared this with you guys before I have and y'all know when I love a company I love a company very much so so um 
They have this kids eat free on Wednesday. So this is my go-to spot. It's my go-to breakfast spot and my go-to lunch spot on Wednesdays with the kids for sure. You can have a donut too. We're gonna try the meatballs sup. You look so handsome. And a frozen can I have a frozen drink? You want a frozen drink? Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get a regular drink. Well, I want a frozen drink. Alright, you want a donut? I want a million dollars. Oh, you want a donut? Oh, you want a donut, huh? Ooh. Okay, get your napkin. Get your napkin so you can grab it. Which one you want? Good. Chocolate glaze. Grab it. Wait, Jojo. Which one do you want, Jojo? Uh, that one's filled with stuff. You might not want that one. There's a glazed donut, and then there's a. Oh, you want that one? Get it. Uh huh. Hey, how are you guys eating that first before anything? Wait, you gotta have. You gotta save some room for the meatball sub. Nope, Maximus. Ma really? Awesome. You guys are awesome. All right. Oh my God. All right. Okay, so what I like to get. I like, oh, they have tacos, y'all. The tacos are actually good. Okay, but no tacos today. Okay, but I like to, oh my gosh. That's Max in the background. What I like to do is build my own sandwich. I like to get oven roasted turkey, honey wheat. Do I wanna get it toasted? Toasted. Lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion. Jalapeno, uh, mayo, yellow mustard, add avocado, and bacon. Complete order. Booyah. Maximus wants a frozen drink so bad. Come on. So you're gonna get the small one. These, these used to be my favorite as a kid. You did that one. No, I, I, I gotta take you home with me. You want Coca-Cola? Wait. Do you want wild cherry or ooh, sour apple? I would personally get sour apple, but cool, okay. Okay. Go ahead, yep. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Whew. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. You want to want to fill it to the top? Oh, Here, uh -uh. Here. What do you guys think? How did they do? Izzy Busy is such a ham, y'all. He takes direction very well. There's Max eating the donut. Jojo Bean. You know what? This girl just gets prettier and prettier. Oh my God, Jojo! Yay! Oh, hey y'all. How you doing? So, um, they had so much sugar, you guys. They got anything that they wanted from the store. So, we hit the park afterwards to get all that extra. Nine, energy ten, out. eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Help me do it up. Good job, Jojo. It was really cool to bring my kids to work and to kind of show them what mommy does for a living. And they were like, ooh, you get free stuff for a living? Like, no, <laughs> I don't get free stuff for a living. This is work. Even though it is fun, it is still work for mommy. So it was really cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on your notifications and leave me a comment down below. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.